Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in my previous uh, few videos, we discussed about the decimal to binary conversion techniques. Okay, we discussed two methods of converting a decimal number into a binary number, which is the sum of weights method and the repeated division by two method. And we studied how we can convert a whole decimal number and a decimal number containing fractional part into its binary equivalent. So in today's video, we are going to uh, learn how to do the opposite, how to convert our given binary number into its equivalent decimal form. So this is quite simple and straightforward. Okay, this is very easy as compared to the other one, the opposite one. So let us just take a uh, binary number, any given binary number. Okay, let's say we take a simple one, 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 zero, zero. Okay, we start with a simple one, it's in binary form, and we have to convert its equivalent uh, base 10 or decimal representation. So, 1, 1, 0, 0. To convert a binary number into a decimal, means its decimal form, all you have to do is that you have to multiply the bits, the given bits, 1s and zeros, with its respective weight value. The position in which they are in, you just multiply those bits with its weight value, the corresponding weight value associated with that position. Now, this 0 bit, it has a weight value of 2 to the power 0. This 0 bit, it has a weight value of 2 to the power 1. This 1 bit, it has a weight value of 2 to the power 2. And this weight, uh, 1 bit, it has a weight value of 2 to the power 3. So, in order to convert the given binary number into decimal form, what we'll do is that we will do 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power 0. Anything multiplied with 0, it becomes 0. There is no question of that. It is 1 into 2 to the power 3 is 8 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 which is 4 plus 0 plus 0. So it is 12. The given decimal number is 12 and its binary representation is 1100. 0, 0. So all you have to do multiply the given bits with its respective weight value depending on the position of that bit and then add the values. Okay, so let us take another number. Okay, so let us take another number, let us say um, 1101. Okay, 1101. Uh, 11001. Uh, 001, sorry, 001. Let us see. And we have to convert it into its equivalent decimal form. Okay, one, one, zero, zero, one. This is two to the power zero. This is two to the power one. This is two to the power two. This is two to the power three. And this is two to the power four. So it is one into two to the power four plus one into two to the power three plus 0 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0 which is equal to 16 2 to the power 4 is 16 plus 2 to the power 4 uh, 3 is 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 so equal to 25 so it is 25 okay so Another number we'll take. Let us take uh, another uh, binary number. Let's say one zero one double zero one zero, and we have to convert it into its equivalent decimal form. 
So let us just write it down here. One zero one double zero one zero. So this has a weight value to the power zero. This has a weight value to the power one. This has a weight value to the power two. This has a weight value to the power three. Four, five, six to the power six. Now, so the given uh, decimal equivalent can be written as one into two to the power six plus zero into two to the power five plus one into two to the power four plus zero into two to the power three plus zero into two to the power two. Okay, plus one into two to the power one plus zero into two to the power zero. Here I'm uh, writing zero into two to the power five just to make you understand. You can ignore that. Anything multiplied with zero is zero. So no need to write that. Only you multiply those weights which have one associated with them. So it can be easily written as one into two to the power six plus one into two to the power four plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 that is only required so it is uh, it can be written as 64 this is 1 into 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 6 is 64 2 to the power 4 is 16 and this is 2 so 64 plus 16 plus 2 it is 82 <coughs> so this binary number is actually 82 in decimal form okay so now let us just take a um, fractional number okay and we'll see what is its uh, equivalent uh, base 10 representation okay so let us just do that We'll take a fractional number. So let that fractional number be uh, binary number be zero point one zero one one. Okay, this is the binary number. So let us just write it down zero point one zero one. Now we know that in case of fractional uh, binary numbers, just to the right of the binary point, this is called as the binary point, it has a weight value of 2 to the power minus 1. This has a weight value of 2 to the power minus 2. This has a weight value of 2 to the power minus 3. And this has a weight value of 2 to the power minus 1. Four. okay so here it will be 1 into 2 to the power minus 1 we are only including those which have 1 in them so we'll skip this part 0 into 2 to the power minus 2 so we'll directly write 1 into 2 to the power minus 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 4 which is equal to 1 into 1 by 2 plus 1 into 1 by 8 plus 1 into 1 by 16 which is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.0625 and this is equal to 0 0.68 Seven five six eight seven five. Okay, so this is the equivalent base 10 representation or the decimal representation. So, here this fractional binary number can be written as 0 0.6875 in decimal form. Okay, this is the decimal representation of this number so this is the way of converting a binary number to a its equivalent decimal form so in case of uh, the whole numbers 
we have to multiply the weights starting from 0 to the left of the uh, binary point and here in case of fractional numbers binary numbers we have to start with the negative values starting from 1 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 2 to the power minus 3 and so on you just multiply it with the given one bits because only those are considered and anything multiplied with 0 is 0 and then you have to add the values okay so I hope you like this video uh, and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much